What up folks, it's your man AG on Double G hitting you with a brand spanking new video and today we're going to get into it. Now this is a video where I discuss a topic that's going on in the news right now and in the media and most likely it's going to be some hip-hop. I'm going to ask for your opinions afterward but before we get into it make sure you go ahead and give this video a like. Right now if you don't really like the video by the end of it go ahead and hit the thumbs down. No hard feelings. Alright so let's get into it. Today we're going to discuss this topic. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about it a lot on Twitter, a lot on YouTube, and some people are saying that Ice Spice is only on top because of colorism. Okay, so, all right, before we even get into it, I'm gonna just let you know, I don't agree with that. And uh, I got some notes right here, I'm gonna just go ahead and let you know exactly how I feel about this. If you feel differently, go ahead and hit me in the comments below. It's been a pretty tight um, debate. I've been seeing people having back and forth online about this topic. Is Ice Spice only popular because she's light skinned and pretty? That's what some people are saying. And to me, I don't think so. What I'm saying is, if Ice Spice is popular because she's light skinned, why hasn't Lotto gotten the same push when she's been around longer? Also, why isn't Coyle Ray there? Why isn't Bia there? Why isn't Renny Rucci there? Why isn't Saweetie there? Why isn't Rico Nasty there? And you know what? I'm gonna throw a wild card out there. Why isn't Young and May there? All right. These people are all light skinned and I don't think they're ugly, but they're not getting these same so-called benefits from colorism that uh, people are accusing Ice Spice of uh, getting. So Ice Spice, I believe from what I've seen in um, a couple interviews and things like that, just seeing her on online and in social media, she just seems like she's just more likable. Her personality in these interviews, her personality in the media in general, it just translates into someone who's more likable, which translates into more marketability. And Ice, Ice's music, I've listened to her EP. It was only a couple songs and I can't even hate on it. It was actually more easily digestible than a lot of stuff that I hear some of these other ladies rapping about. This stuff just comes off a little bit too hardcore. And um, she just seems like she's having a little bit of fun with it. It's not too street, it's not too rugged. And some people are actually comparing her to uh, Lotto. Lotto had her first big hit last year with the joint, the, uh, big, the big energy joint. And she's actually been around since Jermaine Dupri's show back in 2016. He had this reality TV show with kids on it that were trying to make it in the rap world back in 2016. Only two out of nine of Lotto's last singles have even charted, with one of them being Big Energy because of the sample and more likely because of people actually being familiar with the tune in the Mariah Carey remix. And then the other song, they probably charted just because people were Nicki Minaj fans and they were trying to see that what Lotta was actually saying in these so-called disses that she was supposedly taking towards uh, Nicki. Uh, but I listened to those and they weren't, they weren't all that. I mean, nobody's really talking about it now and nobody's really talking about it like the day after it happened. Anyway, it's like either songs only charted because the fans of Nicki wanted to hear what the hell that Lotta was talking about. It, it fell off the charts, what, like a week or so, a week or two later? Nobody's even talking about it, like I said. And this means no one is listening to the songs that Lotto is dropping. People aren't really supporting her like that. Is it because she's light-skinned? <laughs> like, she's light-skinned, and I don't think she's an ugly person, like, or unattractive, I should say. I don't think she's an unattractive person, but it still seems like maybe she's just not connecting with the people like that. They just don't like her as much. Even with Lotto's big energy hit, it was mostly because of the familiar the familiar sample in the Mariah Carey mix. Within only a year and no official album release, Ice Spice has now more prominent magazine covers. She's been on Billboard. She's been on Paper, which is a fashion magazine. She's also gotten some features and respect from some of the heavy hitters like Nicki Minaj and most recently the Taylor Swift joint that she's on. She's also got some invitations to some A-list celebrity events. And these type, of, these type of situations and relationships that she's building actually makes her more likable if she's giving off this cool personality, which allows her to see a broader range of audiences. The media is embracing Ice, I would say, because she seems like she's down to earth and she's easy to digest when it comes to her music. She only has about 15 official songs that are out there and at least four of them have charted, while Lotto has put out about two albums, three EPs, three mixtapes, and about 18 and 19 singles. Audience just don't like her music as much. And I don't think it's because of colorism. I don't think Ice Spice is up there because of colorism. I don't think that 
Lotto isn't there because of colorism. It all comes down to likability. Do people like you? Do people like your music? Do they want to hear more from you? I find it hard to believe that Ice Spice is only popular because she's light-skinned, which is this so-called colorism. I'm not arguing that Lotto hasn't made an impact, but the fact that Ice Spice is just more likable, and this is why her push seems to be way more prominent in, in our faces. But that's all I have for you folks today. You go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Ice Spice is only popular because she's light-skinned and pretty? Or do you think that she's actually more likable with her personality and her music is actually more digestible? Hit me in the comments. I'm gonna drop another video real soon. Keep it locked. I got a new song coming out June 23rd with Sistic. So you guys go ahead and hit the uh, pre-save. It's gonna be in the uh, comments below. Let me know what you think about this video. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. It's your man, Angie on Double G. Us the folks, and we out. Peace.